May and might are modal verbs. They can normally be interchanged without a significant difference in meaning. I might go and I may go more or less have the same meaning. With modal verbs, there is only one form of it for every subject pronoun. For example, with the modal verb might, we say I might, you might, he might, she might, it might, we might, they might. The same happens with may. I may, you may, he may, she may, it may, we may, they may. Just like the other modal verbs, there is never an S at the end of may or might. She might stay. This is not correct. She might stay. This is correct. After might or may, we have the verb, or more specifically, the base form of the infinitive. This means the infinitive without to. For example, the infinitive is to go. So the base form is just the go part. Instead of to study, only study. Instead of to speak, we only put speak after the modal verbs might and may. For example, you might to go. This is not correct. We don't use all of the infinitive. We need to remove the to part. So we say, you might go. This is correct. She might knows. This is not correct. We don't conjugate the verb, so no S is necessary. We need the base form of the infinitive. So we say, she might know. This is correct. Some example sentences with may and might are I might watch another episode. You may bring a partner to our event. He may have been nervous. She might tell us what happened if we ask her. It might rain this afternoon. We may be invited, but I'm not sure. They might go to the beach this weekend. When do we use may and might in English? We can use may and might to express possibility. There is a chance of something being true, or there is a possibility of something happening. Note. Might is used more frequently than may in spoken English in this case. Take an umbrella. It might rain later. This means there is a possibility that it will rain later. You can also say it may rain later. I think she may win the singing competition because her voice is amazing. They might be late because of the bus strike. We can use may to ask for permission. May sounds more polite than using can or could when asking for permission. May I have some water, please? May I borrow your dictionary? May I use the bathroom, please? It is best to use please in the question to make it more polite. In theory, might can also be used to request permission, but it sounds very formal and is rare. We can also use may to give permission. Here, we do not use might to give permission. You may open the window if it becomes hot. You may take a brochure if you like. 
you may leave the room once you have finished the test. In these three cases, we are giving permission to do something. We can use may not to not give permission or to prohibit someone from doing something. You may not park your car in front of the gate. No, it is not permitted. You may not leave the room without permission. You may not take photos inside the museum. It is prohibited. May is used in academic or scientific language to refer to things that typically happen in certain situations. For example, drivers may feel tired if they do not take a break every two hours. Adults may find it difficult to sleep if they use technology before going to bed. These tablets may produce serious side effects if not taken in the correct dosage. May and might are used to speculate about past actions. Here, we are saying that something was possible in the past, but we are not sure. For this situation, we use may plus have plus the past participle. Your comment may have offended some people. We're not sure. She is not here. She might have gone to the market. It's possible, but again, we're not sure. What was that noise outside? I think it may have been a cat. With all of these, it was possible, but we're not sure. We can use may to express wishes. When expressing wishes, only may is used and not might. May you both live a long and happy life together. May the new year bring you love and happiness. May all your wishes come true. May the force be with you. I hope you found this video useful. It might be a good idea for you to watch our next video about the difference between maybe and maybe. Have an awesome day.